So we were finally supposed to tour Europe this spring and summer, after the release of our second LP album. Well, never happened, because of war, because of invasion of Russia. We didn't make an album either, and we couldn't leave Ukraine due to the circumstances we were at that time. And to be honest, the idea of leaving a country at such time was morally very unacceptable for us. When at least in Kiev everything normalized a little, we started to work again. And we thought if we're going somewhere, at least we will do it with a persistent idea. In this particular case, we were very glad that we went with the help of Ukrainian Institute, which works under our Ministry of Foreign Affairs. After all, it also gave us morally correct mean for the trip. Because we are not just artists anymore, we are people who represent our country abroad. And that was honor for us. The road was unusual. For us, it was the first train trip that lasted 25 hours. Even more than 25 hours. But this was okay, you know? In theory, it seems like it would be more difficult and more uncomfortable, but that was okay, you know? When we arrived, we immediately went for a walk to enjoy the architecture of Vienna. Stumbling upon a local treasure of vinyl shop, hoping to find a record by Icelandic composer Johan Johansson, I was kind of disappointed. Even other shops nearby didn't have this artist. Seriously, Vienna, what the hell? It didn't have even Radiohead, Pink Floyd, Nine Inch Nails. Well, I hope they just sold out. We must admit it. Vienna is very, 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 very beautiful and very atmospheric and some kind of unique. And even heavy, heavy rain that fell all day didn't bother us because it gave us more atmosphere. In the evening, the weather was heavenly, and oh my gosh, that sunset was so beautiful. We even forgot about all our problems and tried to enjoy the moment. But still, our hearts were filled by a tragedy that happened in our country. Of course, it didn't allow us to relax completely, because the knowing of there's war is ongoing, it's tough. The first day in Vienna is over, and we have to think about our performance. Next, we got our festival passes and festival souvenirs. There are so nice people at Bass Festival. And overall, it's a nice festival. Hey there, isn't it nice? And then we went to the sound check. Unfortunately, the weather was exhausting again. Interesting thing, while we had a sound check, some respectful critics listening to our music and it's supposed to be criticized, but something went wrong. Here's the listening session. Disappeared completely. Are they in the room? All right, so disappeared completely. Um, who would like to start? I felt like this had like a really kind of like atmospheric entry at the beginning, and then it kind of made me curious to see where it's going to go and everything. And then when it kind of became more like kind of more of a dance track by the like in the middle, um, yeah, I felt like that was like really good and a good length of time before the kind of it changed. Um, for the like, like an atmospheric look at the beginning. Um, the voice, I thought, is very um, soft over kind of what was um, underneath, under the production, which I thought gave it a really good contrast because that's kind of the stuff I really enjoy, like kind of how eerie it is with like the different kind of bass underneath. And then when it went, oh fuck, I thought someone had actually said it in the room. I was very confused. It made me kind of like stand up instantly. I was like, oh wow, oh fuck, it's changed. Um, so yeah, and then I felt more engaged by that point. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. It was good.
um, and I kind of at one point I was like oh fuck I really hope they do a little screaming part or like really kind of deliver that vocal line but I loved it I mean it was like it had this kind of um, dystopian feel to it uh, first drop I was like oh I want more and then when he went oh fuck I was like oh there it is and I, I'm really excited to see that tonight at 9.30 9.30 um, yeah, what can I do? yeah really really love that interesting my first to me it was like um, it's a very good production so there's nothing to I mean um, to criticize about it when I listen to it I would never come to the idea this is a band from the Ukraine I would have said they come from the UK so yeah um, but quite interesting to see how they do it live well the sound check was great many many thanks to the location that hosted us there are good people in Austria who are always ready to help we talked to people about the war but more important they asked us about the war about how it's complete bullshit and Russian propaganda is so complete ridiculous bullshit but you know to be honest it was so nice to come back at the stage and feel this hustle and bustle again so our performance was cool very, very thank you. The audience was so good. But after that was the main thing for us. There was a speech. Truly, I was very nervous as fucking hell. But the reaction of the public was just as I wanted. And in the very end of the concert, we did what we came for, to say these words. Thanks, but now I would like to say a few words, a few, because it would be very wrong if I didn't want to. As you may know, we are a music band from Ukraine. So we are grateful to all our Austrian friends and Vase Festival for the opportunity to be here playing, living. But we as Ukrainians must say something about the war. To name it clear, the unprovoking brutal aggression of the Russian Federation against Ukraine. So, I would like to speak with you not just as Ukrainian, honestly, but as a person who saw the war. With my own eyes, really. We all saw it, by the way, because Michael, the guitarist, and Christina saw it back in 2014 when they were just a teens, just two kids in the eastern part of Ukraine. I saw it on February 24th of 2022 when Russian tanks were driving by the by windows of my house and I was saying my very last goodbye to my fiance on the phone because I thought I would never see her again. That's true. This war has been going on too damn long. And it's going right now while I'm speaking with you. It hasn't ended. You must know, the Ukrainian people are fighting not, on for, not only for their own existence. We always mentally felt like European people. And that's what we are fighting for, European values. Unfortunately, we understand the Russian language and we hear what terrible things sound from the screens of Russian television, really. And they say that Europe must be destroyed. And all Western world must be destroyed. So we are fighting for everyone. For me, it, personally, it's not just about nations, it's about humanity. So please, do not start support us. Be with Ukrainians and thank you. <laughs> 